What is cracking like everybody? Welcome to Sixth of Survival Season 2. Now, if you don't know, Season 1 was like forever ago and some like loser like made it. And now it's like 10 times better. Okay, so we're back into Minecraft. Because it's like the best game ever made. That That's a scientific fact. Search it up. Now, uh, we spawned in what I would say is the greatest biome ever because of spruce and food because uh, them sweet berries to begin with is really nice now uh, I think I want to settle in a village the first thing I want to find is a village I'm not going cave in just yet because I die instantly like instantaneous death but uh, Wow, it's so great. Oh, yes, and if you do ask, we are in 1.18.1. Because I gotta play this, guys. I haven't done, like, a like a, like a a thing with it yet. And I need to, like, do it. And I'm doing it right now. And it's happening. Okay. What? Isn't there, like, food here? Oh, there they are. Sweet berries. Yeah. Look at that. Whoa! That's so cool. Okay. We gotta explore that. Well, actually, probably won't, because I haven't found where I'm gonna stop yet. Now, I'm so glad this person, because I played in a. Uh -oh. Last one I was playing on just for a little fun. I didn't find any spruce. Which, uh, if you guys don't know, it is my favorite type of wood in the entire game. Because it is good. Okay? Don't ask questions. Got it, got it. Now, piggies. I'm not gonna kill anything. I think my goal is not to kill like too much in the beginning because I feel like if I just kill everything, sometimes they just don't respond as uh, fast as you would think they would and then I'm sad. Bam, okay. I really thought I'd find a, find a village or something. This is uh, becoming less tiger biome and more just spruce, which I am okay with, but uh, is there less sweet berries in a spruce biome? I don't know, because I'm already low on food. That's probably one thing that I've heard people get annoyed by. I'm constantly jumping and running. There's no, there's no slow for me. <gasps> sweet berries! Yes, this is awesome. I don't usually get like super excited by sweet berries, but in the beginning of the game, they're just great. I've always wanted to make a sweet berry farm. I have before, but I was using the sweet berries for just bone meal. But I did not know is that there's a sick trade with um I think it's the the smokers, the like barbecue people. That uh, they actually uh, you can trade them sweet berries for emeralds. Just <gasps> wow! I found the opposite of a village. Ain't that just great? I feel like there's usually villages close to these guys. Maybe I'm just making that up, but I feel like every time I see one of these guys, there's a village not too far. I'm gonna go this way first, and then we'll go the other way. Now I have no ideas. I'm not gonna lie. There's no big base plans that I have so far. I'm going to just build things, which is not usually what I do, but it is something I've decided I am going to do. So I'm going to try to find a little village or a spot and we'll be right back. I see the village in the distance. It's cold inhabitants staring in the space. Wow, they're really noisy. But I finally found one. It only took like half an hour or like two days. I don't know. I lost track. But uh, it did take a while. And this village is great. There's so many build uh, buildings and haystacks. I can instantly create. Um, do these not have doors? I thought they did. Oh, they got doors. Bam, starter farm, come on. Sheep. Sheep. 
I already have a sheep farm, guys. That's professionalism. What does he trade? Oh, nice. I really wanted this because I have actually dug all the way to negative 50. No, 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 no. To negative 56, and it is a drag. I do not recommend it. So I thought, like, you know, the fastest way to get diamond tools really is villagers. You don't even need to dig to diamond level to, you know, get diamonds. So how about, you know, starter villager farm? Hmm? Hmm? But uh, only dilemma with that is that I do need the materials for things like, uh, I forgot what tools to use, so Blast Furnace I think is one of them, and uh, I know, there is the toolsmith table, I think that's the, the, the tools, the work thing, no, the thing you use to put, you know, you have to write on things. Smithing table, my god. I couldn't think of that at all. Um, now, there is so much hay, and there's already a cow farm. That is insane. I think I got the luckiest villagers, village I've had in a long time. And then uh, villagers, like all these guys, they don't have jobs. They're, it's a kind of lazy village, but still. That means I can give them jobs. There's already, what, two cows in here? That's a waste. This place is sick. And so much hay. Oh, you guys can't be leaving these doors open. I don't want the cows to escape. Uh, you just leave. You just leave. And let's make a, a, a starter no escape. I feel bad doing this. One, two, and three. Okay. Now it's getting in and out, in or out now. Well, actually, they could still open the door and cows can. I'm gonna assume cows can't get through that. My goodness. Okay. Look at how many there are. And there's already one of these guys. Oh, it's a tool. No, it's a weaponsmith, I think. Yes. If I could find a toolsmith already, that would be amazing. What do toolsmiths use? Um, I think, I think they use this one again, it's another weaponsmith. No. But, with all these farmers, man. Oh. Got it. Perfect, what's your next trade? Apples? I don't need any apples, I'm sorry. Useless. Okay. Bread. Oh yeah, I forgot I did this. Okay. Cats. There's so many sheep for go- I could probably like easily make a uh, villager breeder right now. Take like 15 minutes. Okay, it wouldn't take 15 minutes, but... Now, uh, I think the next thing I gotta do... Sleep, and then mine. Luckily, this is right next to a cave. So I'll be right back, probably get some iron, and some, like, I don't know, coal. And then we could go straight into having these villagers give us tools. Hello, everybody. As you can see, there's a few extra things in my inventory. Or, a lot. But it took a lot of buying, a lot of trading, and a ton of tree chopping. Um, but uh, let's welcome our new best friend. This guy. Bam! Finally, a pickaxe. A diamond pickaxe. And he's got this cool uh, diamond axe. 
which is awesome. He's also got a, a diamond hoe, which, yeah. Okay, I got a lot of I got a lot of extra tools, you know, you know, tools for days, but extra tools never hurt nobody, right? But yeah, this was great. I got two of these Fletchers because that helped a lot in quickness of getting emeralds. As you can see, I, I have enough axes for it, for sure. Close this up. Now uh, we can put some of these in here. And first, efficiency two pickaxe, which is just great because I, I still think, because I spent a while doing this, I still think it's quicker than mining to diamond level at this point. It just is. Even with like caving and stuff, I still think overall it was quicker to get this than it would be to mine. <laughs> now, um, I'll start a farm because I have a few of these guys locked up. Next thing we need to do is um, breed up the cows collect all this sugar cane so we can get a uh, librarian because I do want mending obviously it's like uh, having mending first episode that feels like a win so we're gonna do that and then uh, okay it's gonna be hard to do I'm gonna be honest <laughs> but uh, we have enough access for it. We'll just re-roll this trade till we get mending. And we have enough emeralds to just buy it. You know? So what well, I'ma do that and we'll be right back. I have done it. I got it. I got him. I got him trapped in this little house, you know. Not like a it's not messed up, you know. He likes it in here. But still look at this. Mending for 16 emeralds. Not the best. It could be better, but it's not bad. But uh, another another dilemma. Yeah, you can't just do this, guys. I'm sad. I don't have any iron. <laughs> I literally, I think, I think I had, no, yes. I, I, ha I haven't even made an iron pickaxe. I got one from trading. I, uh. I've had like 10 pieces of iron throughout maybe the the entire course of this. So I actually have to go mining. My plan is just to mine down right here. I started earlier and then just gave up, but now I got this diamond pickaxe with efficiency two, and I can basically get an unlimited amount of these. So I think I'm gonna just start mining downwards, see if I can find any iron and uh, Maybe even get to diamond level, saying it's going to be much easier with this thing. Okay, everybody, look at this. Look, three blocks of iron. And iron, iron. And then anvil. We got an anvil. Now, I can put mending on this right now, and it'd be easy. But I think the idea is to upgrade it just a little bit. So I'm gonna probably collect like four more of these. Maybe get efficiency five on there. And then maybe get them breaking. But I'm not too worried about them breaking, saying I can have infinite pickaxes. But uh, it is something I do want for like mining and stuff. So uh, I'm gonna see if I can get an unbreaking villager. And uh, I'm gonna get more of this efficiency on there. So, uh, that's what I'm going to do next. Last thing we're going to do today is build something. We're going to build... I always build something. You know why? Because that's the best part of the game. Fact. So, I'm, uh... Yeah. I'm going to get this pickaxe tricked out. Maybe one of my axes. But saying I have 20 of them, I don't really know if I need that. And then, we're going to build. Welcome back. I did it. I did it. I did it. I did it. Finally got a brick three. This took forever. Not going to lie. But... I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Efficiency 5, Unbreaking 3, and Mending. Now, uh, I actually got an Efficiency 5 Villager. Thought about just combining the pickaxes, but I realized that might be too expensive when you, because you know how, I don't know, is this in Java? But in Bedrock, if you keep combining things together, it gets to a point where it's too expensive and you can't do it anymore. And I really didn't want it, that to happen. So, 
I just meet, meet efficiency five and then unbreakings over here. And as you know, mendings in this one over here. I like to keep them all in their own houses. I think that might be cool, but it might become a drag and I just boat them all into uh, cubbies like I usually do. Now, uh, next thing is building. I have an idea. Uh, I think it's going to go probably about right here. And it's kind of like a, uh, a building on the water. Because this town's kind of like one of those water built ones. Like a, I don't know, like a pirate looking thing. <laughs> Well, that's the idea. Um, so, yeah. There'll either be like time lapse of that, or I'm too lazy and it'll just pop to me building, because, yeah. I don't know. Make a time lapse as if you didn't know it's kind of hard with like replay mod, because you have to go over it like a few times. And then, yeah, it's just a drag. But uh, it'll definitely be built today. So, uh, I'll see ya when it's done. I have completed the house. Look at this. Okay, I had some ideas. I saw this, like, water, and I was like, a house on the water. And that's what I did. As you can see, it's kind of, like, messed up. The idea was, uh, kind of a pirate kind of theme, which is why there's, like, a flag up there. It's like, uh... This right here was a broken down ship, and the, the guys were like, what are we going to do? And some dude's like, let's build a house. And that's what they did. So, if you go in here, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty empty. <laughs> and if you go in here, it's actually sad. <laughs> I did not realize when building, because I wanted this to stick out quite a bit to the floor. I didn't realize it'd be hard to make that kind of boat shape if I did that and actually have room on the inside so it's really just decoration but uh, I really like how it looks now I kind of want to use some deep slate but I still don't have any <laughs> I'm legit eight hours in and haven't even got to diamond level but you know I got diamond tools and such so I I, I think I did pretty good on because it's so hard to get down that low now but now I have much easier time but uh, otherwise, I like it. I I really would have liked some deep slate and stuff like I think on the rim, but uh, that's something to add later because we're running out of time. <laughs> and what I didn't don't like are these. Uh, in my head, they worked pretty well, but now I look at them, they look very uh, I don't know floppy, like the house would have collapsed them by now if you know what I'm saying. So, I think I should probably make them thicker, but I'm also thinking like deep slate, like a, a stone kind of, I don't know, stone kind of, I, it's hard to say because I don't want a stone straight down, I'm more thinking like a 4x4 four four that looks kind of cracked and stuff, kind of like if you were building a chimney or something, but not a chimney, just something that looks like it's been in the water a while but it's still very sturdy. And, uh, well, yeah. Now, uh, as I said, I've been a while on this world. The farming's been doing great. And uh, this is mending on it, and it has broken. So, pretty good. Like, uh, we did a ton of farming today. Not very much building, which is unlike me, but I think we got a great head start for the first episode, to be honest. I think... I got so much like actual work done because usually when I first start playing I just go straight in the building I use like 15 iron pickaxes and all sort and axes and uh, it just takes forever and I feel like I did more than that this time I actually got something that'll be used for the future done instead of just getting that first build grinded through now uh, I have a very very dumb idea uh the base for this my my mega base my plan is the dumbest thing you may have ever heard in your entire life <laughs> i want to dig a giant hole all the way down to bedrock and then dig up i mean then build up 
Have you seen that build? The Phineas and Fur build, Aww. okay? They basically build the tallest building in the world. And with the, the height in Minecraft higher and the lowest part in Minecraft lower, you could... I, I want to build the biggest possible tower in the entire game. Therefore, I'm going to have to dig a hole all the way to bedrock. And not a small hole, either. Because technically, I would... I don't want the tower to just, like, have walls on its side and you can't see it. So I'm going to have to want to dig a hole and then try to terrain outwards. <laughs> Which, uh... Sounds like a drag, but imagine how awesome that would be. Just imagine that. Now, obviously, that's a while away. I'll probably want a beacon first. So, the next episode probably won't be starting that. But, uh... I do want to... That's, that's the plan. I'm, I'm seriously... That's what I'm going to try to do. It's going to be a long project, but uh, it sounds so... So awesome. So that is the plan for the mega base. Now, next episode, we're probably just gonna get some better emerald farms. Cause doing this by hand is great, but you know, it's not good enough. <laughs> Cause I have a every single one of my book villagers has the paper trade, and that's been doing really well. Um, the farming's been doing well, but I'm getting most of my emeralds from sticks. Cause I now have a efficiency five axe. I just I just cut down trees and I'm getting tons of emeralds from it so we'll probably come up with some more creative farms so we can get some uh, automatic emeralds so I would like to thank everyone for watching this episode took quite a lot of effort but uh, it was really fun and I would like to thank you for watching me have fun <laughs> so uh, see you in the next episode